In this video, we're going over Tomorrowland tickets and how to get them. Let's go. My name is Brett and I'm here to show you everything you need to know to get out raging. In this video, I'm going to go over the pre-registration, the global journey sale, the pre-sale, and the worldwide sale. And after that, I'm going to give you some of my tips so that you can be best prepared to get a ticket. First off, pre-registration. You're definitely going to want to pre-register and this happens around early December. This year it happened on December 7th. If the Tomorrowland pre-sale is live, you can go to the Tomorrowland website, sign into your account, make sure you have one of those, and then on your home page it will say very clearly pre-registration. Now once you're here you can select a particular weekend that you're interested in or you can leave it as no preference. I like to do no preference so that I can just go to either one of the weekends and it doesn't really matter. I also don't think that it really matters what your preference is, they just kind of want to know. So if you prefer a certain weekend you could probably still buy another one. The pre-registration gets you access to the global journey sale and the pre-sale. The public sale is available to anybody with a Tomorrowland account. Pre-registration in 2023 gives you access to a digital experience that kind of gives you an introduction to the theme for this year's Tomorrowland as well as an early look at the 2023 lineup. And last but not least it gives you a 20% discount code off of their online store. Next up the Global Journey Sale. Global Journey is definitely the best chance you have to get a ticket because usually each of the packages includes some form of travel and experiences as well which makes them more expensive. If you want to check this out you can go to the link in the description or go to tomorrowland.com and look for the global journey page there you can simulate whichever package you want and it will give you accurate pricing based on what you want to get this usually starts right around when the pre-registration begins next up pre-sale so as mentioned before pre-sale is for the people that signed up through their Tomorrowland account and it gives you early access and a cheaper price next public sale for the public sale all you need to do is have a Tomorrowland account but you do not need to sign up for the pre-registration all right now we finally come to the tips section this is definitely where you're gonna to want to pay the most attention so that you can have the best chance to get tickets the online queue software may be different from year to year but what you'll want to do is go onto their website early 10 15 minutes and just prepare and get up to the furthest point that you can where it'll say something like buy tickets or enter queue. My next tip of course is to be on a laptop or computer rather than your phone. Then you'll also be using your phone and go to a website called time.is. This website will show you the global time with seconds so that you can know exactly when you need to click that button. Now let's talk timing for when you need to click it. What I would want to do is click the button just before it turns to 17. Not at 16.59 and 59 seconds, I would do it just when it's about to turn. I noticed when I did get tickets through this website, I did that and it gave it time to load and also not be too early because if you're too early, it will reload and then you'll have to go back and do it again and you'll be much, much later in line than everybody else. Next, I also had one account sitting open on my laptop and another on my phone and I used some other device for that time. What I did here is I had my phone on cellular and then my laptop of course on Wi-Fi so that they weren't conflicting for the same bandwidth. With this I had two different accounts. I had my account and a family member's account. On my cell phone I clicked the button just a little bit earlier. Maybe a half a second to a second earlier because cellular can sometimes be slower than regular Wi-Fi and then that meant if I hit it a little bit too early and got blocked, then I'd still have my laptop hitting it at the right time. I feel like I made it seem a little bit like this was just for pre-sale and public sale, uh, but this also goes for Global Journey as well. They are still well sought after, and you might you know, get your uh, particular package sold out by the time you get through, so it is good to do these for all of the sales just so that you can get in the fastest and make sure you can get what you want. I know this sucks, but unfortunately this is kind of the best that we can do because of how the system is. There's so many people that really want tickets every single year, so you just gotta try to time it and be as quick as possible. You're definitely not guaranteed tickets with this method, but I've noticed that it gives you the best chance that you have. As I'm editing this at five in the morning, I realized I didn't mention that there is a guaranteed method for getting tickets, but it's not free. I'll put a link in the description to my next video where I talk about that, so check that out. Okay, now that we've gone through tips about preparing you to you know, get in line and get a spot for the sale, let's talk about preparing you for once you actually get through. Make sure to check prices and know exactly what you want to get beforehand leading up to the sale because you're going to want to know the difference between a full madness pass and a full madness comfort pass. I have a pricing and budgeting video that I'll link in the description and up here if you want to watch that. Just know they are 
2022 prices, so it's just a smidge less expensive that year, I think by about 30 to $50. Next, you're gonna wanna make sure that your bank knows that you're gonna be buying something that's international. This doesn't go through a US bank, it goes in euros, so your bank might block the charge and you definitely don't wanna be dealing with that when you're going through checkout. Also make sure to have everyone in your party's names, um, addresses, and birthdays because you're gonna be traveling from certain locations. And also certain packages with this have flights, which are you know really important to have names and birthdays and things like that. When you're in the queue, be prepared to wait about two hours or even more. I remember it took me about an hour and 45 minutes before actually getting in to buy my tickets once I got there. Also, definitely do not refresh the page. I've noticed it can put you at the back of the line. It probably will for the most part, so do not refresh. If you're through to the part where you can actually select what you want, sometimes you might click on something, select it, put it in your cart, and then it won't let you check out. Don't worry, try a couple times, not too much, because sometimes people will have it in their cart and then let go of it and change their mind, and then you'll be able to buy it. But just don't spend too long because it's probably just sold out. So what you'll wanna do here is have backup options in your mind so that you don't have to spend too much time and then let the backup options also get sold out. Lastly, once you've gone through and made your purchase, you will end up at some sort of confirmation page. Make sure to write down whatever your confirmation code is. And I even like to leave that page open until I go check my email and make sure that I've gotten a confirmation email. I know Know that sometimes things happen and you don't want to be in a bad spot where you paid for a ticket and then it doesn't process on their end and then they can't even find it definitely make sure to write all of that stuff down so that it doesn't get lost and if you need to contact support you'll have it that's it for this one don't forget to like subscribe and share I'll catch you outraging peace